Well, all right, guys. Now, I'm pretty sure, like, everyone knows that I know where to play Sonic Speed Simulator. I always use a keyboard and mouse. I don't really use, like, you know, my phone or a controller. But, uh, yeah, that changes today. Because every single day, I see people like Sonica playing Sonic Speed Simulator on a controller. Heck, even my cousin does. So in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out to seeing which one is better, my keyboard or the controller. So let's get right on into it. So we're gonna be testing if the controller is really good in three ways. The first way is doing a time trial and seeing how good I actually am at it. The second way will probably be doing a race just to see like if I'd do better or worse. And the final way we'll be testing this out is by doing a boss fight. We're either gonna do the Eggman one or Neo Metal Sonic. So let's get right on into the video. Well, alright guys, in the very first time trial I want to do is the one inside of Radical Highway, the one that just came out. And just to make sure you guys are not, I'm not lying, I have just plugged in my controller and you can actually see the UI. But before we actually do the time trial, let's swap my skin. Alright, I have never done this before, so I guess you can control it like that. You can use the search bar. But okay, so this is to scroll down. That's a little weird. Oh, okay, I can use the other stick to scroll down. Where's my Super Sonic? Here he is. Alright, here's my Super Sonic. Now I guess we should equip him. And now let's hop into the time trial. Actually, well, before we hit start, let's actually try to practice and see how good I am at doing this. So, I think, so it's kind of like Sonic Shadow Generations control. So, this is the boost. Uh, okay, that's to open up a tab. Uh, what's your spin dash? Okay, so X is the spin dash. You know, all in all, pretty basic. I think I know what to do. Let's hop into the time trial. So, let's see how well I actually do in this time trial. I don't know if I'm going to do, like, the greatest, but, you know, l l let's see. Let's see, let's see. So, I think the boost... I must admit, though, I think it is more comfortable on the controller than it is on uh, the computer because it's literally just like uh, one of like the, uh, the sticks to back, which makes it, you know, obviously, I think it makes it a lot easier to obviously play the game. And I think spin dash is X and B for like some weird reason. I don't know why they didn't use it for something else. But, you know, I think right now my time isn't that bad. 20, 27 seconds and I just missed it. Okay, that's not good. Uh, okay, I don't like all the jump buttons placed though. It's on A for me. My controls might be inverted. And also, by the way, guys, I'm using a Nintendo Switch controller just to let you guys know. Just in case, you know, I guess the controllers are different. But anyways, though, I think the greatest thing I can say about the controller is that the boost button is very comfortable to use. Like, I'm using it very consistent the worst thing about it right now i'd say is that uh yeah my my controls like i i keep thinking my b is my jump button but it's really not it kind of like trips me up sometimes it could just be me though i think i have a skill issue but you know whatever all right we're coming up to the end and i gotta be honest i keep running into stuff again i know it's a skill issue but yeah i think i do prefer keyboard like a little bit more but let's see like my all-time high score was so my final time was two minutes and 14 seconds and my personal best was a minute and 47. obviously that this is my personal best i probably won't do better than that but considering it's my first time using the controller it's not that bad but, I mean, like, I think I'd still prefer my keyboard. I do think the trigger for um, uh, the button to boost is a little bit more comfortable. But, but I, I think I'd prefer a controller for the boosting. But other than that, I think I'd prefer keyboard for, like, everything else. So, if we were doing a point system, I guess I would go to the keyboard. But for right now, now we are going to do races. And I don't know what race I'm going to do, but let's swap the skin for this one. You know what? Honestly, let's be race suit classic knuckles and sticks. I'm never really him. But let's try to get into a race right now. So, I am going to have to be using, like, the computer to get into the race with my mouse let's do metal madness or well, well, let's do city escape and obviously for the next race because we're gonna do two the other one will probably be metal city race because well you know there's a hoverboard and it'll, it's a little bit more interesting two very boring minutes later well all right guys we are in the race you might be asking what is our goal our goal is to beat the ai because uh the, the races are dead. I mean, like, this update did not save the races. They're, they're gonna be dead forever, let's be real. But, uh, normally, I would be doing, like, a drop dashes down here. But, uh, yeah, again, I kind of have a skill issue, so... Can't, can't really do that. Let's see if I can do the skip. So, I think the skip... No, no, I cannot do the skip, chat. I forgot my jump button. Never mind. Well, I recover. I recover, chat. So, let's go here. Drop dash down. Okay. I'm kind of gonna use... More use to the controls. I say that as I'm, uh you know, constantly bonking myself into the thing. But let's do another, another like drop dash thing. Here we go. Okay, I'm getting more used to it, but I still would prefer the keyboard. But right now our goal was to beat the AI, aka Metal Sonic. And uh, yeah, we are clearly beating him. I wonder if we're gonna beat Jet next time. Uh, we're like a minute in and I'm at the end. Not that bad of a run. I gotta be honest, like this is not the worst run I've ever had. Neither like the best. And obviously I don't really cheat because I don't know how to, but let's see what my personal best was. All right, so my personal best was 54 seconds and my finishing time was like one minute and 12 seconds, which I gotta be honest, 
not that bad. But anyways, next up is the Jet the Hawk Metal City race. So I'll see you in there. All right, we are inside of the race. I still love this animation. I hope they never remove that. But anyways, let's see how well I do. I've never used a hoverboard. How do I boost and do that type of stuff? Oh, that's so weird. So why is B to boost? Shouldn't it be like the normal boost button? That is really strange. And I guess A is to jump. So I guess when you use the, the hoverboard, your entire controls just like move and swap. That's really weird. I wonder if it's like that for the Dark Raider. Maybe we'll test that out after, but yeah, this is this is pretty uh, pretty weird. All right, so we're, I think we're going to beat the AI, which that, you know, obviously, not, not bad. Oh my gosh, what is happening? But, you know, I don't think it'll be my best run ever. That's weird how they swap the buttons. Instead of using the trigger to boost, you use B to boost. I think that's very interesting, but all in all, I guess it's fine. Well, the right, guys, here is the Dark Rider, the motorbike. And I'm assuming it would still work the exact same. Yeah, it works the exact same. But honestly, I think let's get the bonus points because it's cooler than a hoverboard, if we're being honest. I don't know why. Like, it looks like I'm flying right now. But, yeah, it, it's exactly the same. I, I don't know. All controllers, I'd probably give, like, the Dark Rider and uh, the hoverboards, like, a 5. I don't really like it that much. I wish it was consistent. But I know computers aren't that consistent as well. But... I still prefer it on computer. Yeah, I'll probably get like a five, maybe a six out of 10. And I don't know why it looks like I'm flying right now, but let's go to the tornado. Well, all right, guys, let's test this out. And now I think B is to shoot. That's honestly pretty fair. And that's all you really do on the tornado. Oh, wait, you can literally use any button to shoot. Okay, I mean, like, that's pretty much it with the tornado. I honestly think, though, I might give this a controller. I think controller is better for like flying the plane. And I don't know if you can do the controls inverted because I think most people like it inverted when flying planes with controller. But, you know, I think I'll give this controller. I think it's more relaxed. It's more easy. But I think now let's move on to the finale and let's do the boss fights. All right, now we have Big the Cat. Let's go in the boss fight. All right, guys, we are inside of the boss fight. Let's see how well I actually do. Okay, that's what I to drop down. Hit that. All right, all in all, so far, you know, not, not the worst. Hopefully my controller is not disconnect like how it always does. I, I hate that so much. But it's okay. Hit that. Let's go attack Eggman. Jump. Like that. Okay. You know, honestly. I. Okay. We got frozen. I should have been a super skin, but it's okay. I think I would honestly still rather keyboard right now. The one thing that's bothering me that I don't know how to do is fix, like, the camera. Because it's really, you know, close up. I don't, I'm not going to say it's the worst thing. Because I know people, like, prefer, like, controller and stuff. But I don't think it's my cup of tea. But anyways, let's go ahead and do the final blow just like that. All right. And let's see what we got. Okay. We did, we did a decent amount of damage, obviously. Time froze was nine seconds. That's not the best. And we got an S rank, surprisingly. But all right, guys. I think you know what we must do. On to the finale. And nothing else other than the Super Neo Metal Sonic boss fight to actually test if controller is better. All right, guys. We are inside of the boss fight. So I think B is to parry, which on. Honestly, very, very nice. Hold on, let's see if I can parry this. When is he gonna throw it? Parry, hopefully. Honestly, so far, pretty smooth. I like it. Reminding you of the Frontiers boss fight. But, uh, uh, like, I don't know what to say right now. Like, I don't know what the mashing button's gonna be. Okay, so it's an A. The mashing button's A when you attack. You know, not the worst. I'm gonna be honest. I, I think that's fine, to be completely honest. Ow, I got hit. Alright, guys, we're gonna have to get ready to do this. Hopefully, you know, we do this. Wait, why is my controller bugging out? Wait, what? Alright, so let's go, let's go, let's do this, let's do this. And I'm. Oh, never mind, I'm doing something, I'm doing something. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, my mashing skills are not the greatest shot. Come on. Yes! Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my god, I got my sweating chat. Well, the right guys, and uh, my controller, for some reason, it's I think it's the wire, it keeps bugging out, so unfortunately, I was not able to finish the boss fight, but I think I'm going to give you guys my final verdict on controller and see if it's worth playing on it. So, I think my final review is, I think, maybe a 6.5 to a 7.5. Now, I do get why people enjoy it and stuff, but I think, honestly, my wire for my controller has way too many problems, and... I think the controls for the controller are a little weird, but I think you'll probably be able to change some of them and stuff like that. So I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, but I don't know. I'm just very used to PC. I play most games on PC, obviously not Sonic Shadow Generations and like those type of games because, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie to you to do that. You're a... It's pretty weird, but, you know, like, I play Fall Guys on PC, I play Rocket League on PC, which I don't know that's pretty weird, but, you know, it is what it is, but, yeah, I think that's my final thoughts on it, a 6.5 or 7.5, I think it is very good, I think it puts it to good use, if you are used to it, then good for you, but unfortunately for me, you know, I'm not really used to it, I don't really like it, 
But anyways, guys, here are all of these shoutouts from the last week. Guys, I've earned it. And if you guys can tell me if you actually play on controller or if you don't, I'm gonna be giving three of you guys a shout out in the next video. And without further ado, already make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Either be seeing all you guys next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.